Next in the tank, an inventor from Queensland hoping to send his business soaring. I'm very confident in our invention. I'm looking at all five sharks for investment. I think we've got a fantastic future ahead of us. Hello. My name is James Palmer. I own a company called Lambdatron. We're based in Capalabar, Queensland. I'm here today seeking $150,000 in return for a 10% equity stake into the company. May I present to you for the first time the Discover All Drone. The Discover All Drone is a commercial grade hexacopter unmanned aerial vehicle. What makes this unit stand out from the rest? It is capable of in-flight recharging whilst it is in the air flying, thus giving us flight times anywhere between one to six hours, depending on the build and the payload. It's capable of pulling a payload of five to 10 kilos, capable of traveling extremely long distances and can go from speeds from hover up to about 100 kilometers an hour. As you can see, just a, there's a short video of uh, just one of our test flights a couple of months ago. That was uh, with a low resolution camera on it. So we get that it flies, I think. <laughs> Either that, we're getting vertigo. <laughs> Sorry. I guess what I want to do is give an opportunity for one, if not everyone, the chance to be a part of what I believe will completely reshape and redirect where UAVs and drones are going today. What is the cost of build, mate? Roughly, uh, roughly $5,000. And what do you sell these for, anticipate to sell them for? Uh, we can go anywhere from $10,000 up to $15,000. So what are we investing in, your business or just the drone? That's a fair question. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have been clearer, shouldn't I? We're investing, for this purpose, uh, we're investing in, in the actual drone. Okay, so for a $1.5 million valuation, what do sales and revenue and profit look like, say, in the next one to three years? We've had significant interest in it already. I've got an order for three of these pending for the United Nations. Pending means that it might happen, or you have three Orders. I've got, uh, we've got a quote for three of them. So, okay, so it's a quote. Yeah, So yeah, you haven't yeah. got an order for three units. Sorry, yeah, I, I should have said quote, shouldn't I? There seem to be two points of difference that you're alluding to. One is the flight time. Mm. So what is a, an average, or, or not one of your drones, what is their average flight time? An average flight time for, for a UAV, uh, generally is between 10 to 30 minutes. So you can do somewhere between, when you say one to six hours, that's a big differential. What does your average one do in the air? Roughly one and a half to two hours. So it uses, it harnesses kinetic and wind energy from the motors and from the propellers and puts that power back into the battery. That sounds really cool, but the, the devil in my head says that also sounds like a perpetual motion machine. You've made some pretty big claims here, James, because 100k an hour is, is a really fast drone. It is, yes. Can you do 100k an hour with that thing? Not with that particular model, no. A five to 10 kilo payload seems to be extraordinary, whereas typically most of these drones can't lift like an extra battery. Convince me that that's actually real. I, uh... Because I don't believe it at this point in time. Um, maybe I didn't get it across right. This particular model is, uh, you know, it's, it's really the demonstration and, and, and the key point, the, the, to get the key point across, which is the, the technology behind it. it. Honestly, it doesn't sound like you've got your right idea across, or it sounds like it doesn't work. I would love it if you could haul 10 kilos at 100k an hour for over one hour. I, I think that is a game changer. I don't see anything on there that would allow you to do that. Given everything I've mentioned, I, I, I'm out. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. James, I don't know where the others are, but uh, Steve's made his decision. I'm ready to make mine. From a business point of view, it just doesn't get on my radar. I'm out. OK. I'm, I'm, look, James, I'm really disappointed because the video that you played to begin with was terrible. I've seen eight-year-olds take better videos. If you're asking for a million and a half dollars, if you're asking for 
$50,000 valuation, doesn't matter, it's a lot of money, you must present yourself better. So for that reason, I'm out. So James, at this point, to ask me to invest, what is the valuation of $1.5 million? It's far too much of a risk. For that reason, I'm out. Okay. James, 1.5 is a, a significant valuation on a business that doesn't exist yet. It's just in that R&D stage. Because we're not investing in the whole business, for that reason, I'm out. Okay. Thank you, James. We wish you well. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye. I'm still very convinced, 100%, uh, um, that the drone is still a complete game changer, and uh, it will. And I believe it's still going to reshape, uh, reshape the future of UAVs. Next up, a financial entrepreneur chasing a major investment in his property rental scheme. My name is Darren Smith from a company called Rent Resume. Um, we're here to talk to you about that and the expansion of the company. And what are you looking for, Darren? I'm looking for 2.5 million. For 40% of the company. Really? Uh, rent Resume is a service to the rental industry or property management industry. It's a history of your uh, rental conduct or rental history over time. From the tenant's point of view or member's point of view, the benefit is obviously if you go to an open house and there's 20 people at an open house, which there often is in, in the capital cities, it's hard for the tenant to prove that they're the best of those 20. Whereas with Rent Resume, they just give their membership card to the property manager straight away. They know where I'm the best tenant because I can prove it on the spot. Landlords like it because they get the best tenants in the property, so it's a good situation for everybody. Memberships, uh, they get 5% discount at Coles, Woolies, Dick Smith, Big W, Kmart and a few others. So the membership is $3.95 a week. So it basically costs you about $205 a year. So with the shopping discounts, you easily get that back. So uh, it's a subscription model. Individuals pay you. That's right, yeah. So they provide, they're week. paying us to provide so the service to them. So. so is that the only way you get revenue from this? At this stage, yes, that's right. And how many people have signed up? A couple of thousand in Australia. So you're getting 2,000 people who are paying you $205. That's right. So you're getting 410,000 revenue already? That's right. Online? Yep. yep, yep. So when did you launch the business? To, uh, May 2011. May 2011? Yeah. yeah. So where are you from, actually, Dan? Toowoomba in Queensland. Well, there you go, Toowoomba. Oh, I was looking forward to some good ones from Queensland, too. Um, mate, I'm sorry, but you've got a couple of thousand signed up, yeah. right, which I find to be an exceptionally flippant way to describe your user base. Mm -hmm. um, and that you've, you've, ha you've got these people to sign up, they've all just paid four bucks a, a week, yeah. 16 bucks a month. But you gotta look at the flip side of that, they get the shopping discounts as I described. And, and how do you get 5% off at Coles? Through a company called Ambassador Cards, they have really? the, that in place, they produce our membership cards and they have that 5% discount in place. So I can spend 16 bucks a month and get 5% off at Coles? Yep. So there's currently 2,000 people have loaded their resumes online. Well, yeah, go on, sorry, you're right. So we can have a look at that. What does it look like? What does the interface look like? Tell us about the development of the site. We can't show you now because I haven't got that set up here to do that. Um, do you have a demonstration of something you can show us? Or? Oh, I'm just not set up for that, sorry. What were you going to present? Uh, you've, got, you've got a slide there. It, oh. Did that not like, play when I was talking? No, no, no it didn't. Oh, no, we've no. just got that up there. Well, we're all Sorry. confused, I think. I don't know why that didn't, but... Um, I don't know why that's not. OK, so you've asked for 40% from uh, can, the Can charts. I just interject there for a minute? I wanted to say that my proposal is for the US base industry or division of the company, not the Australian division. Really? So is the Australian business not in this pitch? No. And not at this stage, I, I, my preferred option is to leave it out. And the reason for that is I'd rather focus our energies on the US. And, right. and, and, and the reason I've done that is because it's a lot bigger market. There's 40 million rental tenants there compared to two So here. what's your revenue in the US right now? Zero. Look, I'm just Zero. looking to expand there. So you're all <laughs> looking for us. <laughs> that's right. Sorry. To take 40% of a business that's not yet started on that's a $6.25 right. million dollar valuation. 
That's correct, but to go back to your original... Well, can I go one step further? For a business that's taken you three years to grow to 2,000 subscribers yeah. in Australia, that's actually called anemic. To be honest, you, what you're saying is ludicrous. Mm -hmm. you're, you're coming to us wanting an extraordinary amount of money for... On an extraordinary valuation. On a, an idea. Really, honestly, what you're saying is ridiculous. Talk to someone else, cos I'm out. So, so you're taking a software idea, are you? A, a proprietary system or software to the United States market? Well, yes and no to that. What we have, uh, apart from the app, isn't anything unique in that sense. No, it isn't unique. Uh, I could probably, for maybe $500,000, get some seed capital from someone in the US to develop the software tailored to the US market mm -hmm. uh, and solve the problem. So, on that basis, I'm out. OK. What do you think the Australian business is worth? Well, it depends how big a market do you think we're going to capture. That's the how long is a piece of string type question, I always think, you know. But, and look, not everybody would need our service, because if you're a husband and wife and you're both doctors, you're a pretty prime candidate to be a rental tenant, and probably managers tend to take you on pretty quickly, because they like that. But if you're not, if you're a truck driver and your wife's a checkout chick, it's hard to get a rental property, you know. I'll pretend you didn't just call our shop assistants checkout chicks. <laughs> shop assistants, sorry, my, my mistake. So, Darren, I'm going to tell you where I'm up to, because okay. I've listened really carefully mm -hmm. to you. Okay. Customer experience is critical when you're dealing with consumers, mm -hmm. and you're telling me that consumers are your market. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that what makes you special and you give such a value add is this ambassador card which gives a discount at Woolies. Mm -hmm. I don't know how a discount at Woolies in Australia is relevant to the business you've offered me, which is in America. So, I don't know what your value proposition is mm -hmm. in America, yeah. but you've asked me to invest $2.5 million to get 40% of something that you've only spoken about in Australian business, and mm -hmm. then halfway through, you mention, oh, by the way, it's in the US. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, I couldn't trust you because you haven't got anything to show me, mm -hmm. and you keep adding little pieces of information in that I don't understand. So for that reason, I'm out. Yeah, that's fine, and I'll just respond to that and say... You don't need to. I know, but that's fine, but I would like to if that's possible. Well, actually, I'll give you something else to respond okay. to if you don't mind. That's really good then. I actually... What I really love about the pictures you've come here from Toowoomba and Queensland. I'm out, thank you very much. Thanks. We look at ideas every day. You know, I've seen some, some worse ideas. Yeah. But not many. I'm out. OK. Who's left? Not me. You are, too. You, I think. Oh, am I left? Oh, I think. I, I thought I said... Maybe I missed it. Yeah, I'm out. OK. Sorry, I, I thought I made that clear. You, you, and, you may have said you know, that, Andrew, so... Sorry. So... We're all done. All right. We're all done. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thanks, Thanks for presenting. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Enjoy trip back up the range. Tonight, a high-profile hairstylist who's brought his glamorous wife to accessorise his pitch. Hi, Sharks. My name is Joseph Murad. I'm going to show you my invention. It is the latest innovation which will change the future of the way people style their hair at home. It's a revolutionary product. People cannot achieve professional results at home when they're blow drying their hair. I've been a hairdresser for 31 years and all the way through my hairdressing years, often I would teach customers how to blow dry their hair at home and they still can't do it. At the moment, the way people blow dry their hair, they have to coordinate a hair dryer and a hairbrush. People find that very, very hard. With my invention, People will be, will be able to achieve uh, the same results we achieve in the salon when they blow dry their hair straight or wavy. They can also put curls in it in about half the time, and it's so easy to use. You able to demonstrate? Yes, sure can. Do you mind if I come up close and look? Please, yes, yeah, sure. sure. Come on down. I am very curious. Yeah. <laughs> that is a serious job required there. I guess. So that's before, isn't it? Stop it. I'm trying to see if that's a fashion statement or... I don't know. <laughs>
do we assume her hair was straight first? You're straightening it or you're curling it? I'm well, just a bit confused. Okay, at the moment it's curly, All so right. I'm straightening it. Ah, fine. <laughs> it works better if I turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> More detailed. <laughs> yeah. Now, Joseph, I've seen heaps of these at, in shops, you know, the straight converters with the curl. Why, why is yours different? This is a hair dryer plus a hair straightener. You can use them simultaneously or separately. Right. Joseph, how much money are you after for how much equity, mate? A uh, million dollars for 20%. So you're valuing your business at $5 million? Yes. And how's it doing so far? Well, uh, the, uh, the interest is incredible from just anyone that ever hears about the product, they just like can't believe that, oh, there's a product. And on how there. do you define interest? Are you actually, do you actually have sales at this point in time? Or? No. No, we haven't started selling. I can see why it's worth $5 million then. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well. And how much does it cost you to get to this point okay, today? To this point now, uh, close to 800000 And What would uh, you spend 800 grand on to get to this point? On patents, mainly on patents in their research and development. And the patents is not only in Australia, it's worldwide. Great. I have a worldwide patent so, on it. So the other $750,000, what did you spend on? Sorry? Well, I don't understand how you put 800000 bucks into this. What, what is the, what, what's the secret? Is there, is there a trade secret or something we're missing here, or...? No, on patents, worldwide. It doesn't take $800,000 now... in patents, though. Well, well, I've had the patents now going for nine years. Nine so... years? Yes. And this, obviously, worldwide, you're offering today. It's not just Australia. Like, it's the whole, the whole box and dice. Well, the product will be sold world worldwide, but of course, to get today, our negotiation is about Australia. So you're giving us a $5 million valuation on... Australia. ..this business here? Australia, yeah. I'm not even interested to go partnership worldwide with anyone at this stage. OK, I'll make it really easy. I'm out. OK. So for a $5 million valuation, you must have some idea of the revenue you'll potentially earn from this thing one day. Yes, do, I do. Can you let us know about sales, your expected sales? Yeah, okay. My expected sales would be, I, would, I believe, at least 100,000 units the first year with the right marketing. All right, okay, so what do, you, what do you sell it for? $300. So, okay, 300 bucks. What does it cost you to make? Uh, between 25 and 35. Dollars to make. And then land, landed in Australia maybe about... I don't know, 45 landed here, something like that. Um, you think you can get them landed for somewhere between 20 to 45. I find that lack of information disturbing. You're saying the unit cost is 25 to 30, and you think you can land them for 40 to 45, I think you said before. Yeah, 50 max, yeah. That's <laughs> what I think, yeah. Do, do we know what it is yet? I mean, it's, sorry, you, you, I don't your unit exact... cost keeps escalating, so I'm curious. No, you know what, the, the exact, exact figures to the dollar, I don't have it yet. So why, if you don't know your numbers, you've spent 800,000 bucks of your money on this, you want a million bucks of mine, and you don't know what it's going to cost you to produce. Well... Does, 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 how does that sound when you say it out loud? Okay. Well, well, I know, I know, I know close to what it's going to cost me. Very, very close. Well, uh, Joseph, I can, I'll just, I need to sum up where I'm at. Uh, I'm actually a bit disturbed. You've got no idea of the, of, the, of the cost of the unit yet. It was between 20 to 50, somewhere in the middle. You're trying to sell us a, a, a crazy valuation on what we think may be an Australian-only business. I'm, I'm worried about the fact it's taken nine years to get to where you are now. Uh, I'm, I'm disturbed you've paid $800,000 for international patents, if that's true. As a result, I'm, I'm out, Joseph. Thanks very much sure, and good luck. Sure. But I'd like to address one thing. This is how it can be used as a hairdryer. Now it blows air like a normal hairdryer. It's much easier to blade dry if you need to use it this way. I think it's a beautiful looking product. I mean, obviously I'm not in the space to know how well it works. Naomi and Janine would be much better equipped to actually assess that. But I actually love the design and design's a big thing for me. Um, I think your valuation is crazy with respect. It's like just way over the top. 
There's too much risk involved, I think, and there's too much unknown. I don't think you've really sold it sufficiently to me anyway to justify that sort of valuation. So for those reasons, I'm out. Sure. Would you like to, go to see it working on wet hair? No, it's OK. I think we're OK. We're all right. Look, there's no doubt that it's a great product and there's no doubt that you're passionate about it. I think that's fabulous. I do see that there could be global opportunity for it. Mm -hmm. The global opportunity's not included. No, that's right. <laughs> you get that. You know, so... I know, that's right. I think that was a big issue, but... Yeah, well, I'm looking for global businesses. I want to see Australia on the world stage. And, you know, that's part of what I'm looking for and why I came here. As such, I'm out. OK, thank you. Joseph, in my view, you've made a classic mistake of some entrepreneurs and inventors. You are a real specialist in the area. You've come up with something which is clearly probably very innovative. But I think you're trying to be the CEO of a consumer products global marketer. And frankly, if I were you, I would be looking for people who spend billions marketing consumer electrical products. You should be thinking about how do I get 50 cents every time one of these is sold and someone else is doing the manufacturing, the supply chain and the marketing. So uh, for that reason, I'm out but I think you should have a serious look at the way you're going to capitalise on this invention. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you very much, Charles. Thank, Thank you. I hope we're wrong. The Sharks had made a big mistake. They are going to regret it. And I'm going to contact them in a year's time when the product's out there and I'm going to tell them what the product is doing and what they've missed out on.